Virtually the entire New Jersey Republican establishment is on the list, with a few notable exceptions. While former Governor Don yeah. DeFrancesco is on it, former man. Governors Tom Kane and Christy Whitman are not. Whitman told us today, I'm not on board with any candidate. I respect Governor Christie and wish him well, but at this point in time, I'm not focusing on that. He's got a lot to offer, but I want to wait and see the field sort itself out. Four of the six Republican congressmen from New Jersey are in Christie's camp, but not the dean of the delegation, Chris Smith, or its most conservative member, Scott Garrett. In the state Senate, two of the 16 Republicans declined to jump on the Christie bandwagon. Senator Joe Carrillos has had a political falling out with his close friend Christie and is backing the Jeb Bush campaign in New Jersey. Senator Mike Daugherty says Christie called him this weekend to ask for his support, but that American politics is too dominated by Wall Street for Daugherty to want to endorse anyone for president. Four of the 32 Republicans in the state assembly have yet to jump on board. Assemblyman Michael Patrick Carroll says, there are so many candidates I might jump in myself. Christie is the best governor of my lifetime, but it's very early. We still have another eight months to decide. Assemblywoman Amy Handlin is on vacation. Her aide says she hasn't made up her mind yet. Assemblyman Chris A. Brown of Atlantic City is holding off while Christie seemingly supports gaming expansion to North Jersey. And Assemblywoman Holly Shapizzi underwent brain aneurysm surgery a month ago and is focusing on recovery, not politics, but says she has contributed $1,000 to the Christie campaign. Senate Minority Leader Tom Kane Jr. was thought to be leaning toward Bush, but yesterday attended Christie's announcement and said Christie would make the best president. There are a number of New Jersey Republican fundraisers who are with Bush instead of Christie. People like Larry Bathgate, Woody Johnson, Cliff Sobel, and Hirsch Kozlov. But the Christie campaign has rounded up an impressive number of political and business people willing to lend their names to a candidate currently in ninth, 10th, or 11th place. In the newsroom, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.